Hi, this is Ginger from my sister's scrapper. Today I have a mini album to share with you and I do apologize. It's been a long time since I've done a video, but hopefully I'm back on schedule. I was so busy with teaching classes and putting together class kits and uh, I was felt like I was just, I had time for nothing, but I'm back on schedule now. So here we go. The paper line that I used for this mini album is the Doodlebug Designs Happy Harvest. I used the 6x6 paper pad as well as two sheets of 12x12 paper and the 12x12 sticker sheet. So the paper's darling, it's very cutesy, and I usually don't do cutesy, but it's just the colors are so bright and fabulous, I, I, I just I had to have it. So what I did was I created a paper bag mini album, and um, I used the celebrated paper bags that you get at Michael's in the party section. So on the front cover, I have a flower here that I created using the Tim Holtz Tattered Floral Die and just some solid gold colored cardstock. And my cardstock is from American Crafts. And then um, these little stickers here, uh, the little animals, were actually from the sticker sheet. And I just put them on cardstock and put them on some dimensionals. And then, um, again, the word fall colors was also one of the stickers from the sticker sheet. And then I have the spine. I just used a solid cardstock here and it applied a couple more stickers from the sticker sheet. And then this is the back. It's real simple. It's kind of a different page construction for me um, uh, as far as a paper bag mini album. But it worked out pretty good and you can hold a ton of photos. So you open it up and on the inside front cover I have a little pocket here that I created using one of the larger stickers from the sticker sheet. It says pumpkin patch. And these are just some tags. Um, I had a few pieces of the six by six left over and that's usually how I determine my tags and any little extra little goodies I put in there. It's whatever scraps I have on my table after I've uh, got the basic construction finished and I make little uh, tags out of that. So they're plain on one side and then they are just the design paper on the other. I inked around all the edges with walnut stain and then this one is just a little flip up booklet like this. Polka dot and the little fall leaf paper. So those go back in here. For the 12 by 12 sheets of paper, I use them for the covers for the front and the inside and the back and the inside. And then the six by six papers were used for the paper, to cover the paper bags. So what I have on the first page is again another sticker. I put it on some dimensionals and I did leave it open here. And this is another little uh, sticker from the sticker sheet right here. And this is a photo mat. So each one of them, and then it has design paper on this side. Each one of them, the pages has a pocket right here, some more stickers from the sticker sheet, as well as a pocket at this end with some design paper on one side and solid cardstock on the other. And I use my Stampin' Up! Tab Punch to create the tags. And that goes back in there. So you flip the page, and again, another sticker here, another sticker here, and then just a plain photo mat here. And playing on the back. Lovable fruits and vegetables. And another large photo mat here. So these photo mats will hold a full 4x6 photo without any uh, trimming at all. So that's kind of nice. For some reason, that one doesn't want to go in. Okay. Over here, again, I have some more little tags. And these were stickers from the sticker sheet. And I just went ahead and um, Put them on some solid cardstock. This one I left open in case you want to put a little photo underneath there or a photo on the back. And here's the photo mat for this one. And the large tag for this one. And you flip it over. Again, another sticker here that says Give Thanks. I had a little strip of the owl paper left and it was probably my favorite so I went ahead and made a little tag out of that. Another photo mat here with another sticker, and again, this is open so the photo can slide underneath. And a little journaling spot right here. And here's the tag for this one. And on this side, I love the cute little scarecrow, a little journaling spot here, and you can put a photo on the back. Again, a couple more stickers from the sticker sheet, and the photo mat right here. And here's the large photo mat for this one. And they're all solid on the back. 
flip it over again another sticker from the sticker sheet and I just put it on a scallop circle that I punched out with the a circle punch again another photo mat here and another little sticker here and here's the photo mat for this one This one goes right here. And over here, again, another little sticker here. Again, a little journaling spot. Another sticker here. And a larger photo mat. Love this paper, too. The colors are just bright and happy. Super cute. And here is the photo for this one. Love the trees. And over here, um, again, another photo mat here. Some more stickers here from the sticker sheet. And the photo mat for this one. There are only five pages in this particular mini album because the um, paper pad only has, let's see, has 24 sheets of paper. So I only did five pages this time. And then again, another photo mat here. Again, I left this open and only glued it down on just the one side. Another sticker here. And a large photo mat here. And the last page, I love the little hedgehog. I thought he was darling. And again, I left it open so you can slide the photo underneath. This paper is really cute too with little houses and little roads. The sticker here that says thankful. And the last large photo mat here. And on the back inside cover, I did, again, I just put another little sticker here from the sticker sheet and put it on a scallop circle. And I just left it plain here. So there you go, that's my mini album for fall. Be cute for pumpkin patch pictures or any kind of you know fall harvest pictures. Uh, using the Doodlebug 6x6 paper pad called Happy Harvest. So there you go everybody, thanks so much for watching, bye.